All right, so here's our first example of representing a three-dimensional volume of revolution as a stack of disks and finding the volume of that by adding up the volumes of all the disks. So let's use the function f of x equals 1 over x and we'll revolve that around the x-axis between x equals 0 0.5 and x equals 5. So when we revolve that, it looks something like this, and here's a nicer picture of that. Now we imagine stacking disks in order to fill up this volume along the x-axis. Each disk has an infinitesimal width of dx and a radius that's given by the function 1 over x. So the volume of one disk is just pi r squared times the height of the disk. And then just a little bookkeeping shows us that r is 1 over x, so r squared is 1 over x squared. h is just dx, the thickness of each disk. And we can write out an expression for the volume and then the integral. And the integral goes from 0 0.5 to 5. It's a definite integral. This is a pretty easy integral to write out and to solve. I'll just re-express it as x to a negative power so that uh, I can use the power rule to integrate it. And we'll evaluate the limits between 0 0.5 and 5 to get the answer. The main thing you have to worry about when you're evaluating limits like this is just worrying about sign mistakes. So just go through this carefully. And for this volume we get 1.8 pi.